Oh, somebody said, real quick. Somebody said, Co, don't you have a powerhouse connection? Why can't you stream at a higher bitrate? I can't stream at a higher bitrate because Twitch will not accept my connection's girth. That's what it comes down to. Um, unfortunately, Twitch like takes probably less than 3% of what I can send them. So I could absolutely stream at like 4K 144 on this connection. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, unfortunately there's nothing I can do. Like Twitch, the way that Twitch works is they limit everyone's connection to between eight and 10K. Normally it's eight and sometimes even lower depending on, on where you are. So my upload and I, and I have a, a two gig up and down right now. So I don't know what the math would be. I don't think it's actually three, percent. I think it's like, what's, what's the percent of that? If I can only stream at eight kilobits per second, I've got a two gig. I don't know what the percent is there, but yeah, I have a two gig up right now. Um, so it's unfortunately I'm not limited, but yeah. So that's thank you. Both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke oh. was as... <laughs> and I just found out that if I want, I can upgrade to 10 gig, 10 gig down and up. But I'd have to get like a new firewall and stuff, and it cost me like 4K a month. <laughs> but I don't, so I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> Not right now, at least. In the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. Yeah, I don't think I need that right now. How can you get that many speeds? I have a business class step. connection. Yeah. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stay behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here. We really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Thank you, Alan. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid. Who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. I was waiting for that. I was wondering why this when hadn't been chatted about yet. Eastpool on your way back. I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. I'm glad that got brought Fare up. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Uh, real quick, I see some questions in chat that I just... I don't talk about too often, but I'm seeing multiple people ask them, so I might as well let you guys know what's going on. So, I do play games in 1441.20. And I could locally record that and then put that on YouTube at a higher quality. Unfortunately, and I'm sorry, YouTube, that doesn't quite work for how our systems are set up currently. What we do currently is we export the video from Twitch to YouTube. And then on YouTube, my editor, Red and Tech, cut it all up and then post it. So if we were to do a higher quality version, then I would have to upload massive, huge files to Red. He would then need to edit them. And then he would have to upload those massive, huge files to YouTube. This would delay my content getting on YouTube by 12 to 24 hours every day. So we made the decision earlier because unfortunately, to put it bluntly, Red and Teclios don't have super good connections. So the, the option was either just upload this, how it is, and have it up within like literally one to three hours or have slightly higher quality with a lot more work for Red and Teclios um, at like a anywhere between six and 24 hour delay. So, yeah, keep in mind, like, and, and then we have to encode them on YouTube, which, which it takes longer as well. So it's like, it, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. So that being said, whenever Twitch will let us do higher quality videos, then we will have higher quality videos on YouTube. 
But unfortunately, because of the bitrate issue, I can't really do that right now. Yeah. So also, it's still like single digit percentages for people that watch YouTube at, at those higher resolutions, believe it or not. So yeah. Anyway, hope that helps. Twitch needs AV1? Yes. Oh, God, yes. If Twitch had AV1, like, I'm really kind of hoping at one of the Twitch cons this year they announced that. Um, so, yeah, that, oh my god, dude, that would, that would, that would be platform changing if Twitch could get AV1. You would have a better looking stream at higher resolutions for a lower bitrate. Every, everyone would win. Yep. And for those that don't know, AV1 is a different type of encoding, but it requires a pretty massive, considerate, considerable overhaul on Twitch's side. I didn't they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, no animals, Damn. no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Not for my XP bar, it ain't, girl. I'll make that decision, thank you. Hmm. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the land's life force. And problems are all that's left. Just hmm. farm chat for experience? Oh, I'm gonna. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Oh, somebody asked me, am I doing drop frames tomorrow because of my birthday? Yeah, I'm still planning on it. Me and my family are doing my birthday stuff today. On my normal half day, so. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do, no tomorrow should be a normal day. Normal, normal day, birthday for stuff. Oh, also don't tell anyone, but we're going to give away a computer tomorrow too. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Okay, uh, let's go back here real quick and see if we can upgrade this sword or any of this equipment. Has Co said anything about continuing Conan Exiles? Maybe. I, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Maybe. I almost went back to it last night, but we still have Steam demo days going on. So I might actually, yeah. I, I was having a good time in Conan Exiles. And there's so much new stuff. And I kind of want to play with the building system a little bit. So, okay, there's nothing new here, I, don't, I think. Now we're good. So the answer is maybe. Yeah. Hey, Conan is so chill. It's just fun to play. Yeah. Hey, Ko, I use Invenc because I don't have a separate streaming PC, but I got a decent GPU. I'm assuming AV1 uses CPU. Is it harder CPU than X264? No, no. AV1 is, I believe, and, and Barry would have to help me out here. I think he knows more about this. Than I think AV1 is mostly GPU. Yeah. So you would be okay. But for the record, I have a separate streaming machine and I use Invenc. So... And Venk is a great encoder. I mean, you're looking at it now. Yeah. So don't, don't, you know, CPU encoding is kind of, and Venk has, has quickly um, kind of taken place. Didn't start that way, but now it's to the point where it's like, Venk is pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. You're watching an Venk stream right now and it's, it's my preferred method. Your first Conan stream got me through a broken leg. Good times. Nice, man. Nice. Let's do this. Manalikas, thank you very much for the uh, the 40 months, bud. Thank you. Bongos to you, friend. I 
I see a lot of great questions in chat, but I want to focus on these cutscenes. Give me one sec. It's almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. reality could I have done this could anyone oh chat saying look off to the left I will Oh, I hope I didn't just cut scene and out of here. What is it, Toggle? Clive. Oh. That's him. One sec. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Look at that. Damn. Okay. Well. A boom. Okay. <laughs> it's a big boy comet. Yeah, Ifrit did that. Yep. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning. And listen to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apoditry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I Six and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. That's an empty cup. There was barely anything left. Yeah. It's empty now. Thank you, Joshua. Are you sure about this? Nope, let's go. Never more. Seriously? Are you sure about this?
Mephatis says, Co back at it again with the fake sipping. I'm not fake sipping, I'm gaslighting chat. Co Another gaslight key. carnage. Let's see if this one opens. I'm gas sipping. Oh, look at this. What is going on here, dude? Could this place really be a fallen ruin? You could hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Okay, this is badass. I don't know what's going on here, but I like it. Hell yeah, dude. Have you ever seen anything like this? Is this like collecting all the magic in the area or something? It looks like there's magic here. Jill? Sure, why not? Let's go. Oh. Oh, like automatons? Hell yeah. What do we do? What do you think we do? Girl, you are asking all the wrong questions today. Fallen bug, apparently. More trouble. Lightsabers, why not? Must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Oh, do the ATL? Uh, Phoenix Gate. All right, nothing really there. Echoes. Strange clockwork constructs often encountered in fallen ruins. The question of whether or not they are truly alive is open to debate, as they do not appear to require water, nor do they feed on the flesh of their victims as, be as beasts do, and seemingly exist solely to protect their habitat from intruders. All echoes are encased in protective plating that is made from the same material as the ruins and thus cannot be destroyed. The repeated blows will cause individual plates to dislodge, eventually causing the entire construct to collapse on itself. We know about the fall, and we know about the phoenix. Do we know anything new about you? Not really. Yeah, very Dwemer-esque. Yep. Which I'm all about. I love the whole lost civilization still around because it was super cool kind of thing. That's one of my favorite tropes. So don't you have more basic skills you've already unlocked? Uh, let's see. I I have some basic skills I'm not getting because I'm not really like using them. I like this, I don't really use. I'm, I'm kind of more of a slicey dicey guy. I don't really hold stuff. I guess we could try reduce. Let's, let's see if uh, the mastery is any good. Maybe the 
I was using it before and it just took too long to charge up, so. Uh, for this stuff up here, mastering these just lets you use them in different areas, which is kind of cool, I guess, but... Don't really use that too much. And then this, I do think we need to get this. Increases claw range. We can get that. Oh, we can... Wait, 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 wait. These can be upgraded first. Okay, so we can still upgrade these. All right, cool. Let's get this one. So we upgrade and then master. All right, so we still need to upgrade a bunch of these. Oh. So yeah. In other words, I've been using non-upgraded skills for the entire run. Gotta get Heat Wave, one of the best skills. Yeah, chat kept telling me that. I guess, I guess we could replace Phoenix, although I use Phoenix so much, but... That's the thing. I don't know exactly where I'd use it. I kind of want to replace... But Gouge is so good at getting down bars. Like, all the all the abilities I use are good for something. I love this one. Because it's huge damage that you can get do quickly at the end of a stagger bar. I love this one because it can super quickly clear lesser enemies. Um, and I don't even think I'm using that right now. I think I'm using this one. Which is like the same thing as the last one, but even more damage. I mean, I guess I could use... Heat wave instead of rising flames. But then I'd lose a lot of stagger damage. So I don't know. I don't know. Looks like it can take a beating. And let's give it up. <laughs> Dang, that, ch that charge up lasted way too long. Wind gouge. Yeah, one thing that I'm I'm thinking of doing, like I do like that gouge, uh, gouge really breaks down the stagger bar. I guess increases the stagger bar would be the right way to say it. But I wonder if we should replace gouge with a mastered version of the fire counter, and then Gerudo we could use as like a counter stagger builder, and then. Phoenix we could use as like a damage dealer. So then we like specialize each of the different ones. The problem is for that I need to I need to master this first. Um so we'll we'll wait we'll wait and give that a try. Yeah, we'll see we'll see how we like it. We'll give that a try. What it can't go this way? Oh that way. Oops. Went to the wrong door. Yeah, there's not really... I mean, the... Yeah, I guess we could uh, do this for now. 
just to try it. Uh, let's see. We can also go ahead and take off you. So not really using you. Okay. Oh, we still have to master it. So that's the upgraded version. So now we need to do... Is there anything I want to take off? I'm eh, not really using you. Eh, still don't have enough. Oh, I could do this. So close! Very right, fine. There we go. So you are now mastered, which means that we can go to here. We can do that. Cool. Okay. So now we can switch to Garuda. And both of these are now counter skills. Let's see how we like it. Because I think the red one has to be used on a projectile. Summons a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shockwaves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. So that one has to be a projectile. The jump evades an attack. Counter potency is increased. Can't be used midair. Okay. So it's like melee and projectile. Oh no, it just does more if you do that? Okay. Okay. We'll try it out. We're gonna experiment. Uh, uh, bomb? Whatever they are, I don't think they're friendly. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Ow, 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 ow. seem to do decent damage just on their own as well, which is good. They also seem to come back pretty quick. Which is nice as well. Where's the big bomb boom? I'm sorry. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Like streaming. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. That's a lot of gill. Thoughts on the skill up review of this? I have not seen his review. What, what did he think? Before you tell me, my thoughts are Story seems good. Uh, it seems a little light on the RPG mechanics, which is a little unfortunate. But it's fun. I mean, the action is cool. The, the story and stuff seems great. Man, these the, the delay on these things is so annoying. That's basically what he said. He prefers the older style game. Uh, I would, yeah, I wouldn't say I prefer the older style game. This, time. But this is very different. I, I'd say it, it is very different. <laughs> it is very different. That's for sure. Wow, that is a lot. It's already up again.
Oh, okay, I'm like smashing Rook's Gambit, but it would not use it. What the hell's going on with this camera? Why does it keep breaking my target? Am I doing that? I don't think so. 